Hello, this is Jim Walkhouse, Director of Technology Alliances at Tripwire, presenting how the Threat Intelligence Integration for Tripwire Enterprise interacts with the Last Line Breach Detection Platform. The products we'll be working with in this session are Tripwire Enterprise, the Last Line Breach Detection Platform, and the Threat Intelligence Framework. You should already have everything installed and configured if you followed along with my previous videos. So, let's begin. First, we'll want to get something interesting to analyze. In this case, I will browse to www.malware-traffic-analysis.net and we'll go to PCAP and Malware and grab a recent one. In this case, it's the Nuclear EK Malware and its artifacts. After we download this file, we'll need to extract it to a location that is monitored by Tripwire. So in this case, I'll put it into C temp. A word of warning, these files are dangerous and are password protected as an additional layer of security while still allowing research and testing like what we are conducting here. Congratulations, you've just successfully created an infected system. Well, or at least simulated an infection using a binary we can now analyze with last line. Now that we're done being bad guys, our next steps will be as the good guys, using Tripwire Enterprise and last line to find and eradicate this threat. So let's begin. For sake of demonstration, we will manually proceed through steps in Tripwire Enterprise that would otherwise be fully automated. In this case, we are manually scanning temp, but typically this would be a real-time rule investigating all binaries on the system, something Tripwire Enterprise was built to do. Aside from Tripwire's excellent detective capabilities, something you will enjoy using in Tripwire Enterprise is customizable reporting with easily accessible details. In this case, we've created a dashboard expressly for demonstrating this breach detection scenario that utilizes the custom element properties set up by the Threat Intelligence Framework. Our dashboard includes a change process compliance report scoped to changes associated with binaries that our last line service can sandbox. You might note the element names criterion here. Additionally, Tripwire Enterprise's reports are instantly actionable so in this case, we select the Elements View button to take action on our newly detected bit of code. Our action is to queue this file for a full threat analysis. Running this action sends the file's full path along with associated node and element IDs to a temporary manifest. Now that we've queued the file, we send it for a full threat check. This step parses the temporary manifest of queued files and tells the Threat Intelligence Framework to retrieve the binaries from the endpoints via a log transfer rule. The file is sent to a secure FTP service running within the Threat Intelligence Framework, and from there, the file is transferred up to last line. All that is left is a few minutes wait while the file is analyzed and the results are sent to the framework. While we wait, I've opened a server log in the Threat Intelligence Framework so you can see a little bit behind the scenes of what is happening when we've transferred a file for analysis. Now that we have results, we open the element we were investigating and find a convenient URL to pivot our investigation into LastLine's excellent analysis. In addition to LastLine's own analysis, they will provide links to VirusTotal, where appropriate, so you can get a second opinion. More importantly, LastLine's own analysis includes screenshots showing the execution of the malware in two different Windows environments. Further, everything about the binary that makes it suspicious, such as the artifacts it drops, the changes it makes, and the network traffic it generates, are captured and made available to an analyst. All of this threat intelligence analysis, coupled with Tripwire Enterprise's detection and response capabilities, is why we encourage you to take a look at our integration with LastLine. Thank you, and for more information, please visit www.tripwire.com.